brought some cheer to the Veterans Medical Complex. People stopped in the lobby to listen to the carols for a bit and offer some suggestions. The Salvation Army also distributes presents to the vets at Christmas. The fact that today is Pearl Harbor Day was not lost on the band members. It's a big deal. We are thankful for their service and what they did for us and what they did back then it leaves a great impact to what we have today. Well, Alan, good morning. You can tell the season is upon us because we talked about the Red Kettle campaign, the lighting of the Christmas tree. We're down here at Campus Marshalls Park, and you hear the sounds of music. Talking about the holiday season with us, Major Herb Fuquay. Correct. All right. Major, let me ask you, with the Salvation Army, $8.2 million is the goal this year. I know we're still dealing with some tough economic times, but you do a lot to help those who perhaps would not have a, a nice holiday season. Right, and uh, the money not only helps us with uh, the holiday uh, or Christmas baskets, toys, coats for kids, uh, but it also helps us throughout the year. We uh, People may not know this, but every night uh, almost 2,000 people are lodged by the Salvation Army, and every day 8,600 meals are served somewhere by the Salvation Army in the greater area here. So it's a lot of, of help. We can't do it without uh, the partnership of this community, and they've always stepped to the plate. We're looking forward to working together again here in Detroit. On Friday evening all across Metro Detroit, the Red Wings continued a holiday tradition. Teamed up with the Salvation Army, they kicked off the season of giving in Hockey Town. I mean, obviously it's fantastic. I know Kenny and I have been here for six years, and uh, you know, we're fortunate that the people of Michigan and Detroit in particular really support us and obviously it's an opportunity for us to give back to the community. There's lots of people that are struggling out there and, you know, having a warm place to stay and a nice meal is a wonderful thing. J.C. Penney and the Salvation Army have come together to fulfill Christmas wishes for tens of thousands of underprivileged kids and seniors. But we can't do it alone. Join us at jcp.com angel to choose your angel. We'll ship your gift to them for free. They need many things, but most importantly, they need you. A karaoke event held last month at the Detroit Metro Airport helped raise thousands of dollars for the Salvation Army. Airport officials say Delta flight attendants helped raise more than $4,000 for the group's Red Kettle campaign between December 19th and the 22nd when they held their Sing Because You Care event at the McNamara Terminal. Hey everybody, Drew Stanton here with Don Shane, and we have a great way for you to give back. If you've got tickets to the Thanksgiving Day game against the Packers at Ford Field, please bring a new coat or a gently used older one. The Lions are teaming up with the Salvation Army to help those in need right here in Detroit. Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you. Give today. They're the faces of those in need, maybe family or even your friends. This year, let's help the Salvation Army. Click on wxyz.com slash red kettle. We can work together to do the most good. This morning, the Salvation Army is putting out an urgent call for donations. The charity is still more than $5 million away from its $8.5 million 2011 Red Kettle campaign fundraising goal. Money that you drop in those Red Kettles goes to provide crucial services like food and shelter to those in need. We're really not counting on not getting the money. We don't have a plan B. We're really counting on Detroit coming through for the Salvation Army once again. Everyone seems to understand that uh, as tough as they've got it, there's somebody who's got it tougher. And uh, so, you know, we've uh, just been uh, getting the word out. Uh, and uh, as we do that, uh, our neighbors are stepping up and continuing to give. Uh, so we're staying very positive, very hopeful that we're going to reach that 8.2 million goal. Detroit's movers and shakers are painting the town red, ringing up support for the Salvation Army. Take a look at the top of the Rensen. The iconic GM logo is changing to the Salvation Army's shield. Pretty cool. Motor City Casino is all lit up in red as well. And the CompuWare building is also joining in. Radio legend Dick Purton and Tiger mascot Paz will pitch in by becoming bell ringers at 12 Oaks Mall in Novi. It's part of the Salvation Army's annual Red Kettle campaign. It wouldn't be the holidays without the Salvation Army's Red Kettle. 
Cattle Campaign is their single largest annual fundraiser. But this holiday season marks a milestone. This is probably what you picture when you think of the Salvation Army, especially this time of year. But this year, they're ringing in a celebration of 125 years of serving Detroit. Today in Metro Detroit, the Salvation Army has more than 100 centers of service, providing nearly 9,000 meals every day and sheltering nearly 2,000 every night. And I want you to know, while there's extreme poverty and while there are people hurting, we're going to take a message from William Booth, and really one of his last messages. He said this, while women weep as they do now, all fight. While children go hungry, all fight. While men go in and out of prison as they do now, all fight. You got the theme. And we're going to continue to fight. And we're going to continue to trust the community that they're going to help us make a difference.